Um, thank you. So Jason, you'll give me the uh, sharing screen. Great. So yeah, I'll, I'll start off and I'll share my screen in a second. So my third cousin, Daniel Taplitz, is a director and movie writer. He wrote a couple famous movies, one called The Squeeze with Michael Keaton, um, if you ever look it up. But uh, I finally got to meet him years ago, actually about two years ago or so in California. So um, that being said, I'm going to share my screen. I have a little PowerPoint presentation. I have a lot to go through. So I do apologize if I go through it rather quickly. Um, share. Everyone can see my screen. Great. So I'm going to make it a full screen for my side now that you guys can see it. Um, so a little bit uh, what you're going to learn today, a little bit of background about myself, who is Right Click Solutions, what we do as an MSP, which is a managed service provider, and should you outsource your IT or should you have an internal person? Um, and that's really what we're going to go through today. Um, as you can see on my other half is uh, my wife, Sammy, which we'll talk about in a moment, and a couple awards that we're really proud of uh, that we continue to win through the years as a local IT company. So first, a little bit about uh, my family. You can see the highlight. Uh, they're all highlights. But of course, Delaney just mentioned my wheat, soft coated wheat and terrier chip in the corner here, upside down and, and driving the car. He seems to drive a lot of things in our, in our family, which is awesome. We, we love chip. And then in the left corner of my screen, we have our son, uh, Josh, who just made his decision to Indiana University, beautiful campus in the Midwest. If you haven't been there, you got to check it out. Um, and then my wife, Sammy, who's uh, also an alma mater of Indiana, um, and then Josh will continue that legacy. We have our daughter, uh, Mara, um, here, who's 15. One of my other loves is keeping healthy. I'm the only one in my family who will drink my homemade beet juice and carrot juice and kale juice every single morning. So this is just a sample of what I do, which I think it really helps me uh, with my energy. And as my passion, which I started a couple of years ago, is gardening. And here's one of my prized possessions last year, my 30 pound pumpkin, which I grew in my garden. Um, uh, next, a little bit about uh, how I started. I grew up in Mount Kisco, New York here in Mount Kisco a few years ago. Then I was born and raised actually in a small little town, Dobbs Ferry, New York, 30, 20 minutes south. Then I went off to college at SUNY Oneonta. And then I got my first job at AIG, American International Group, as an IT person. Um, and then from there, I moved off to ABC Television. I remember sitting uh, in the Y2K 2000 uh, in New York City, uh, 77 West 77th Street, when Y2K hit. We all got flashlights because we all thought the lights were going to go out at Y2K. And guess what happened? Nothing happened. And then the lights continued, and we all went on. And it was the, uh, the fun thing that we all talk about today. And then from ABC Television, I went off to... Snickleways Interactive, which was a dot-com, the boom of the dot-com business. They had companies like uh, books.com and vitaminshop.com. They were a website company, actually, but I was doing the back-end IT work for them. So I've been doing IT for many, many years. I think I'm in my 28th or 29th year doing IT. And then in 2006, our little company, Right Click Solutions, was born. Um, we spoke about you know, a couple of minutes ago at the training tidbit, and I'm really, really proud. We spoke about also about employee retention. The first employee we ever hired, I think 14 years ago, is still with us. The second employee we ever hired 12 years ago is still with us. So Kathleen and several people who work with us know these employees and how valuable they are. Because honestly, at the end of the day, it's, it's not about me. It's about the team that uh, we set up. Everyone sets there uh, around themselves. So I think that's really uh, what, why we are really good at what we do. And this is a few of the people on, on our team who are still with us today, which is awesome. Um, very lucky to have that. And of course, these awards, which I like to highlight as well. Um, and then some of our clients, um, which is really important. We, uh, Phil speaks, to, uh, Vince spoke about the nonprofits and that's about 48% of our business is nonprofits. Just a few of our nonprofits that we work with here in Westchester County, a great organization, Hope Store and Lifting Up Westchester, and this is my actually my very first client I onboarded even before I started the company. The Hawk Barthelson Music School has been with us 21 years. Um, Neighbors Link, another great nonprofit here in Mount Kisco. Of course, we all know this uh, fabulous Sawmill Club who's been with us, a for-profit company, for many years. And we all know Kathleen's company, Hollis, Laidwell, and Schamberg. Still being their 50th year anniversary. Congrats to you guys, Kathleen. Um, so, of course, we work with 
many different types of customers. It could be a customer that has one computer. It could be a customer. We have a customer in the Bronx who we just onboarded. They've 300 people. They've also been with us, um, or they continue to give us business after 21 years. They have 300 people. The really sweet spot is the 10 to 20, 30 person company who really wants that really extra handhold touch or customer service. And that's really what we're good at. Um, moving along, I think it's really, really important as a company to do a great job, but I think it's also, also important to give back and show your appreciation. Just a couple of things that we've done through the years. Uh, this is the Ronald McDonald House, um, true to my heart. It's a great organization. If you haven't done it as a company or want an outing to go to as a company and give back, it's a it was so much fun. And they're so appreciative. We cooked for the Ronald McDonald House. You don't know what they do. Uh, it's people who can't. It's people who are dealing with illnesses here in locally, or actually even from afar, and they need a meal to cook, or they they need. A, it's for the, actually the parents, or the families that are staying locally and can't afford a hotel. So the Ronald McDonald House will put them will put them up, um, and we were able to cook for them. Giving in Mount Kisco that every year it's actually happening at this time. Cleanup day. This is a picture that we took many years ago. A way we give back, just walk down the streets of Mount Kisco, literally picking up garbage, just helping, again, give give back to the community. And this is just, I think we're off to a fun event. And I think we were, I think a couple of years ago, they was the whole dab thing. And we were, we were just dabbing and getting on to where we were going. And then this is a sport, uh, the support connection uh, organization. I think they're based in New Yorktown. They had a bowl of and it was a, a great little, a fun event. Um, a little bit about, I know actually about four minutes left, but I think it's really important to understand the company that you potentially work with, but also understand what we do as an IT company. So we are a managed service provider. and We do really everything from IT except websites. So that means managing, being proactive versus reactive, helping them manage their backups, their data, the security, all the things in the new news about um, cybersecurity. It's really, really important that you have someone that you can trust doing your IT. Um, this is a little bit breaks it down of what we do. It's cloud service is a big thing. Cloud is, could be, mean so many things to so different people. And if you're not sure even what it means, give me a buzz. Um, ransomware, I'm not gonna go into details. I just wanna get through the last couple of minutes I have. But if you don't know about ransomware, um, it's really something that can destroy your company. And um, what you have to do is really plan to get a ransomware attack. If you get a ransomware on your computer, it's like a virus and literally all your data is gone. It's destroyed, it's gone forever. So you really have to plan of, if you, it's like insurance, you have to plan if your house burns down, if you have a flood, you have to plan. If you got a ransomware attack, what would you do? And that's really what this whole video is about. And I showed it last time, so I'm not gonna show it again. Um, and then this is exactly what I just spoke about. Plan, plan, and plan again. Kathleen always talks about planning. It's so important to plan for disasters. It may not happen tomorrow, may not happen next week, but I almost guarantee you it will happen, unfortunately, someday or later. Um, and then do you work with a single person for your IT? Is it a family member? Is it a cousin? I can't tell you how many times I hear, oh yeah, my cousin, my brother, my son-in-law. Oh yeah, my son who's graduating high school next year handles their IT. Well, is that really smart for your business? What happens if they go away on vacation? What happens when they go off to college? They're, you may have actually a single IT person who's awesome, but at the end of the day, they're only one person. They can only be at one place at one time. So we really, really encourage everybody, and even as you talk to people, do you work with one person who may be great, but you really need, if you're really concerned about your company's data and security, you really need an IT company who can be proactive, who's not just gonna run around putting out fires. Um, and then there's a couple of misconceptions about IT. Does my computer network need regular maintenance and monitoring? Yes, of course it does. It's a car is not gonna run forever without having a royal change. You always need to have it maintained. And this is what I just spoke about. My, my, my neighbor, my neighbor's kid knows their computer stuff and they'll take care of it. They will, but they also have many other things that is their priority in their life. Um, are all computer technicians created equal? You, you may not always get the, you're going to sort of get what you pay for. And this is the one that I always speak about. There's a very popular misconception with Google and Office 365. If your stuff's in the cloud, it's getting backed up. Yeah, but not really. Try, I guarantee, I ask, encourage everyone, call Google if you delete something two weeks later. 
they're going to say, sorry, I can't help you. So it's really, really important if you have stuff in the cloud to really make sure it is getting backed up. Um, and I'm going to finish off uh, my presentation by showing you this little speech from, we all know this guy. Hold on one second. Um, and I have it planned out right perfectly. So tell me if everybody can hear this. You've got to find what you love. And that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. So I'm going to stop my share. And I think that's really, really important, as I think I'm just about done with my time, to really love what you do. And if you can't tell I'm passionate about my business, schedule one-on-one -on -one with me because we're really passionate. So um, I'm going to sort of wrap up. I know I'm probably done, Jason, with my 10 minutes or so. So I encourage everyone just about your business, about yourselves. Love what you do. It's really important. Um, to, to it's I guarantee you only help your business grow and continue to grow and the relationships set yourself around people that you love to do. And it's really going to, going to help. So um, I'm really out of time, but I just want to leave it open for maybe one or two questions of anyone that have any questions about it, what they don't do, who they're working with. Any questions for me? Um, hey, Dan, you, oh, go ahead. Sorry, lady. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, majority of us pretty much are solo. Do, you, do your company work with individuals or just mid-sized companies? Yeah, so absolutely. Um, you know, there it, it's a big trend in IT actually to have that a lot of IT companies, even here in Westchester, will only work with you and if you sign a contract. But then that leaves all the people that are like you, Larry, and maybe even like Liz, like, what do I do, right? How do I get help? So the answer is absolutely, Larry. We will help the single person who doesn't want to sign a contract, who doesn't want to be bound to anything, and absolutely, we will, we will help you guys. Great question. Kathleen? Um, I don't really have a question. It's, I have to say it's more testimonial because as you know, like my law firm, it's, I'd say it, we describe us as a mid-sized law firm, Dan, would you correct small yeah. to mid? Yeah. Um, we do, we've been using Dan for, for years and he's really brought us up into the, you know, to make sure we're safe and the customer service is incredible. It's like un, like nothing that I've ever experienced. Like everyone will say that about right click. Like if you have an issue, you get someone immediately to help you with it, with your computer, whatever, whatever's going on. They also do practice like ransomware attacks, sending out emails to make sure that you that we understand what they are. <laughs> They're fake. So, but like, you know, if you click on it, it's like, duh, no, don't do that. So they, they kind of teach you about what's a, it's like amazing. So great Thank job. You and a great presentation. Thank you. And the thing that I didn't want to forget about, um, the most important thing about uh, our company and hopefully the companies that you work with is that we do truly care about our company. We had these t-shirts made up a couple of years ago because we people are like, man, you guys care a lot. So we had these t-shirts made up to show that we do truly care about what we do. That's all I got, Delaney. Um, I think we're gonna go. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. Um, so I'm going to go, we have about, uh, wow, six minutes left. Um, thank you all. I'm going to go right into actually, it's really important to me to start with our, our guest today.